Hello, and welcome to Basic Math with Leanne. I don't want to write that all out. Whatever. Leanne, I spelled my name wrong. Whoa. Do, 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 do. Okay, so our second unit, all 10.2, if you use the same math book I do, which I don't have with me. Anyways is compound interest. Compound interest. I actually wasn't here for this one either because I couldn't sign up for the class until like three days in. So, let's see what they got. Oh, but I know how to do it, so it's not a big deal. Anyways, you have A equals P1 plus I to the N. Does everyone know how to do exponents? I hope you do. There's a little exponent key. If you don't have an exponent key, good luck. Um, gonna need one because mine's like right there. It's a little carrot looking thing. We also call it the carrot key. So if you were to type this in your calculator and you were to do the whole formula, you do one plus your form, your thing for I. So you need to come up with that answer because that's a different one. And then you do carrot key n, which would be probably another fraction. Actually, that one I think you just multiply. Yeah, you do. Okay, anyways. So, in this thing, you're going to look for, like, keywords like compound. Is that it? Yeah, compounded. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so we're looking for keywords like compounded something. Blank, right? Alright, so the P is the same as before. If you remember that, that's how much you deposited in. You put in. I I guess this is the same. It's for a savings account, right? Two years in trade, something. I don't know. I'm not sure what it applies to. But you have to know how to do it. So <laughs> you have the P, which is the amount am amount blah, 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 amount of money that you put in, or whatever, originally invested, borrowed, however you want to, etc. Your I is going to be the rate over the number of compounds per year. So you have the interest rate, which will be a, it'll be in a percent form. And you're going to change that to a decimal by dividing by 100 or just moving it over two places, whatever works for you. Then you have the number of compounds. And there's certain words for that. Like if it was like compounded monthly, your bottom number would be 12. If it was compounded quarterly, it would be 4. If it's compounded daily, it would be 365. And I don't think there's anything else. There's one other. No, there's two. There's compounded yearly, which is one, and compounded semi-annually, which is two. And that's all I've seen in all my math problems recently. So if you get anything else, ask your math teacher. Or just use your own common sense on that. Anyway, okay. So what we'll do... So go through this again. I don't think I finished N, did I? No, I didn't. N, <laughs> N is the number of compounds. So the same thing, that was the bottom. Whatever the bottom of your I is, is now here for N. Number of compounds times the number of years. So I guess in the same sense, you would do, like, if it's a monthly thing, you put it in a fraction over 12. And if it's a daily, you put it over 365. Because you're going to want to change it to a yearly fraction. Because that's what that would do. So, let's get to a problem. What up? Now, I tend to do my things separately, just to set, set them in my brain. There is a way to just type it into your calculator, and I don't like doing that, because I'm complicated. 
So the first problem I have is you invest $2,500 into a CD, certificate of deposit, not the music kind, for two years earning of an interest rate of 1.5 compounded monthly. Okay? I think this is the one that it'll... You don't have... If you ask for the maturity value or the full total... This one does it for you. I think that's what my teacher said. If I'm wrong, if you're a math teacher and you're watching my video, or your math teacher said differently, then comment and let me know because I'm already done with this unit. So, you invest $2,500. That is your principal. Okay. And then you do one plus, you're going to do what? What are you doing? Doing 1.5% over compounded monthly. So it's 12. Little carry key. Let's see, for two years? At the end of two years. Yep, okay. So you do 12 times 2, which is 24. Yay, basic math. That way you don't have to do that stupid thing. Now if it were like a giant number and you wanted to just type it in. Because I think it works that way. Hold on. Yes. Does that work? I think it works. I think it works if you just type it in. But we'll see. Because I like to do mine separately. So I do 1 plus 1.5 over 12. Actually, it's 0 0.015. My bad. Over 12. And then I put that to the 24th. And then I multiply that by 2,500. Yeah, okay. So you can just plug it in. And with this one, you do not put it in parentheses. Okay? That's... That was a mistake I made the first time I plugged it into my calculator because I'm used to putting... I don't think you can see that. I'm used to putting everything in my calculator straight up with parentheses and all the stuff from algebra. But in this sense, you would literally just type it out the way you see it. And no other way. There's Just do that. Do 2500 parentheses 1 plus, and then that would be 0 0.015. Move it over twice. And then over 12... And then you close that, and then you do 224. Yeah, up here. Little carrot key button. To the blah 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 power. Okay? And that answer will be 2576.08. And I'm just going to round that. and Because it's 88, eight, so it's going to be 9. And that's your answer for that. And part B is how much interest was earned over that time period, and everyone can probably figure out how to do this. You subtract your original, which we all don't really need to do. So that's $76.09. So that's how much interest was made. That's the total. Okay? Total. So you don't need to add it in. You don't. Just, that's what you have. Don't add that to that. That's not how much. You didn't earn 4000 You earned $76. Okay? Because banks hate us. Alright, anyways. So let's move on. Ugh. Go up more. I'm running out of room. Okay. You borrow $17,500 from a bank in order to purchase a car. Calculate the future value of this amount, and the bank is charging 8.25 interest compounded monthly for four years. Okay, I think that's what I was talking about with the maturity value, future value. I'm pretty sure those are the same thing. I think they're the same thing. Let me check really quick. It'll take like two seconds. Future value and total are the same thing. Yep, okay, cool. That's what I thought. So... We have girl stay okay. So we have seventeen five hundred dollars, and you do a close parenthesis. Well, open whatever. 
first initial parenthesis. You do one plus, and do you remember your I? I'm not going to set that up for you yet. So I want you to pause this and figure this out. Okay. So, you back? Good. Alright. So we have... What do we do here? What do we do? That's right. 8.25% over compounded monthly. So it's 12 and don't forget to change this to a decimal by moving it over two spaces. Period O. 0 0.0825. Screw the percent at that point. You don't need it. Then you do carrot key for how many years? Four times 12. That's 48. Okay. Where's my calculator? There it is. And everything's falling off because. I have no room at my desk. 17,500, blah, blah, blah. One plus 0 0.0825 over 12 to the 48th power. And it is 2, 4, comma, 7. And then all the extra stuff. The next number is zero, so it's no big deal. Because we're talking money. So in money, you don't have 470935 cents. Yeah, no, we don't do that. So you round. You round up. Do you want me to cover the bases of rounding in case you haven't done that? If it's five or more, you round up. If it's four or less, you round down. Okay? Alright, cool. Is that it on that one? Wow, that's that's really easy. We could come up with more numbers, but I don't feel like doing that. Because this is just a tutorial video, so who really cares? Okay, so I think that's it on that one. Um, this is 12 minutes. I can't tell if I went on or not. Whatever. Okay, so I'm going to start a new video for present value. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time.